Well, if you think you're busy, then meet Jeremy Scott, who is juggling so many projects that is going to be a challenge just to talk about them all in one segment. Welcome to the show. I'm Thank happy to have you here. Me. Happy you could fit us in today. Yeah. You have so many hats that you're wearing right mm. now. Tell me what you're all working on and how you're making it work. <laughs> well, uh, we, I have a YouTube channel. It's called Cinema Sins. We have almost 9 million subscribers. Yes. That's a full-time job. I love how nonchalantly you say that. 9 million. <laughs> 9 million people. <clears throat> yes, well. And then the YouTube channel. So Cinema Sins, tell me about that first. We make fun of movies. Just yeah. <laughs> o overly nitpicky. Uh, we like to say if the Cinema Sins comic book store guy had a YouTube channel about movies, this yes. would be what he would make. Perfect. Um, yeah. Great. So it's like the running narrative that we have in our head when we're watching, but funnier. Yeah. Well, hopefully. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. So you're doing that. And then what else are you working on? And then uh, I'm writing. I've, I've written a, a novel called The Ables that's been out for a few months now uh, about disabled superhero kids. Mm -hmm. So the concept is that <clears throat> you turn 12 in this world and you find out you've got superpowers, you're going to superhero high school. Okay. But my main character's blind, so when he gets there, he finds out they've put him in special ed because they don't think he can be a true hero oh. because of his disability. Okay. So he, make, he makes friends with the other kids in that class, all of whom have superpowers and disabilities, and the book is about them trying to work together to overcome um, the obstacles and be true heroes. And where did you come up with this concept? It's really unique. Well, uh, I am disabled myself. I have over 50% hearing loss, mm -hmm. um, and... I just I got fascinated with the idea of somebody who, who wasn't able to be fully considered a hero but also had power so they weren't just a normal human. Mm -hmm. And how do you navigate that existence where the heroes don't think you can hero but you know you're You more got it in you. Yeah. Yes. And then you've got a new book too called Strings. Yep. That was just released on Amazon. That is the sequel to Abel's. Okay. So it's the same characters. It jumps three years in time. Okay. So they're now 15. Uh, and uh, all the adults start disappearing, so they have to figure out what's going on with that. And oh. um, do they want to find the adults? <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yes. I was like at 15, all the adults are gone. That's sort of sounds like a party. Yes. But here um, they want to find them. And the uh, <laughs> climax of strings actually takes place in uh, Washington D.C. Oh, okay. Um, which is just a coincidence that I happen to be here. And also, you've got some ties to Charm City, I'm told. I do. Yeah. I yeah. Um, I lived here uh, until I was six years old, until and we moved six. to Indiana, and so. So the Orioles are my favorite team and always yes. have been. And I'm thinking I might go catch a game tonight. Yeah. And, uh, what? Maybe go swing by the old house and see what it looks like. Obviously a very smart man to <laughs> still be rooting for the O's. <laughs> and then I imagine that there are a lot of opportunities that are still coming your way. How do you decide what it is that you're going to do because you are so busy? Um, it just has to be something I can be passionate about. We we get a lot of opportunities for sponsorships on the YouTube channel that we don't take because uh, we, we just want to make sure that whatever we're promoting we actually love um, and so our sponsorships are pretty few and far between whereas a lot of youtubers have them out there all the time uh, and you know the, the writing is something that I'm passionate about um, it's it's incredibly fun crafting a story and characters yes. and uh, I'm addicted to it. So, uh, you know, I basically just weigh do I have time for it? Is it something I can be passionate about? And the YouTube channel, how much time does it take? The YouTube channel? Yeah. Um, a single video takes about 40 man hours. Okay. But we have, we have a few employees now that we've hired because we've Because you have 8 enough, million viewers. You can do that, We've right? been fortunate enough to grow. Yeah. Uh, so we have some editors and some writers. Uh, so I don't have to do all that myself. Great. So basically, I have to get my little YouTube channel that's, what, at like 500? Mm -hmm. I got to get it up to 8 million. Mm -hmm. And then I can hire a staff. You should start making fun of movies, maybe. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> I think someone else has already done it, though. Uh, maybe, maybe. So then the movies that you pick, mm -hmm. how do you pick them? Uh, we usually do what we call tent polling. We try and pick a movie that has some relationship to something that's coming out in the theaters today. So when wow. the new It Chapter 2 came out, yes. we did the old miniseries from 1990 or oh, whatever that's smart. it was. Uh, because did you people do it for are Lion Googling King? for It and thinking about the clown. <laughs> Um, did you do it for Lion King or you left them alone? Do you leave like, I left them the alone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't really. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, with the. <laughs> you know, my daughter wouldn't even see it, the new one. The new Lion King? No, because it was like real life, and I think that the cartoon one scared her so much with Scar. Scar was, yeah. So, yeah. But maybe I'll do that spin to it. I'll, I'll take over the kids' movies and I'll just slam just, them. You just make fun yes, of them. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you were here. Check out Cinema Sins and also make sure you pick up strings on Amazon right now. Jeremy, thank you for being here, and we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.